What's up everybody, it's your boy here Nick. I'd like to thank you for subscribing to my channel as well as viewing my YouTube videos. If you know anyone that's struggling with biomechanics or needs help, whether it be friends, classmates or fam, I do encourage you to share these videos because it's one of my goals to educate as many people as possible on this beautiful subject of biomechanics. So if you can help me achieve that goal, I'll be great. This tutorial is going to be about moment of force, so also known as a torque. So moment and torque, they're interchangeable words, which means the same thing. The agenda for today is that we're going to look at the definition of a moment, what a moment is made out of, as well as the units of a moment. So the definition of a moment is a force having the ability to cause angular rotation or angular displacement. So remember, this is much different from linear displacement. So angular displacement looks like this. Say if you have a segment. Say it's the femur and it's attached at the hip right here. Since it's attached at the hip, this point is fixed. And this point now is called the pivot point or point of rotation. The distal end, let's pretend it's not fixed. And we have a force that's acting up on the segment like so. As you can see, the force is pushing up on the segment and the whole segment is rotating about this fixed point at the hip. This rotation is called angular displacement. Linear displacement looks like this. If you don't have, if you have the segment, it's not attached at the hip, it's not attached anywhere and you have a force acting on it. As you can see, the whole segment moves in one linear plane. It's not moving angularly. Okay, so note the difference between angular rotation and linear displacement. It's also important to know where your pivot point is because this allows you to determine where and how the segment will rotate depending on which force acts on it. Direction is extremely important, so it's always best to determine where that pivot point is. So let's take a look at the components of a moment now. We looked at one already, force. The force must have a magnitude and direction. So once you know the pivot point and how, what direction the force acts, you can also determine the direction of the moment, okay? The second component of a moment is the moment arm. So this is defined as the perpendicular distance between the pivot point and the point of application of the force. So it looks like this. Imagine we have the same femur and we know the fixed end at the pivot point is at the hip and we know the point of application of the force is on the distal end so the distance between the fixed pivot point and the point of application of the force this distance that is called the moment arm and the reason why we know it's perpendicular is because this distance is 90 degrees to the point of application of the force okay Lastly, let's take a look at the units for a moment. We said a moment is comprised of two things, a force and a moment arm. So the equation looks like this. Moment equals force multiplied by a moment arm. Force, we know the units of a force. That's fundamental shit. That's Newtons. Moment arm, we said it was the perpendicular distance between the pivot point, that fixed point, and the point of application of that force, distance. So unit distance, keep it in meters. Let's take a look at the equation now. Newtons multiplied by meters produces a unit of Newton meter or Newton multiplied by meter. That is the unit of a moment. 